hi friends welcome to our channel so here we are going to discuss about ansible custom facts so before going to work with custom facts you have to know what is a fact right see fact is nothing but truth right so to understand these truths or facts you have to know setup module for your ansible right first let me run that setup module from adha command and we'll see some output let me do one thing i am going to write simply my remote node i am assuming as local host itself but you can write your remote nodes as well but it's not a problem you can go with anyway to understand your concepts right now see what i am doing is ansible from our inventory i am running one module called setup right and yeah observe that what you are getting now if you observe output you are getting different variables and its values right see not only here even if you go up so you are having lot of values right so these are all called facts about your remote nodes so if you want to know what is the node architecture then ansible is giving with the setup module your output here you can observe your remote node architecture right so what is the bias version so i created this from amazon so i'm getting 4.2 amazon right so not only this you will get different facts about your remote nodes so simply for this you no need to do anything simply you run just setup module by that you are going to get your uh, information about your remote node or facts about your remote nodes right so this is okay this is simply ad hoc command so from ad hoc command you are getting this output right now let me go with custom facts see the default task for any playbook is setup that means suppose you are going to write one playbook for some particular task by default this setup module will execute and it will find truths about your remote nodes or facts about your remote nodes in case if you don't want to get facts about remote nodes in your playbook you can disable gather facts as no by mentioning gather facts as no you can disable executing of default task that is setup task right okay anyway just now we have seen right this task gather a whole host of facts gather facts right about the remote node machine or machines if you have multiple number of machines so they are like you know ip address or disk information os information so so different informations you can get by default with the help of ansible while running playbook so simply you have to remember that the default task is executed by your playbook is always setup in case if you don't want to execute this setup you can disable gather facts as no in your playbook right okay now these are called simply facts then we can also add our own custom facts so that ansible can go and fetch those facts for us right so we can define say so instead of whatever the default facts you are getting with ansible that's okay in case other than that if you need any extra fact about your remote nodes in your playbooks or in your ad hoc commands you can create your own custom facts and you can fetch them anyway ansible will fetch those facts for you right okay then what is the use of this custom facts you can create your custom facts we will see that how to create so whatever the facts you are going to create custom facts those facts can be identified can be fetched by your ansible itself then what is the use of custom facts right first thing to define user required facts for 
for a particular host why we need to define guys just assume that you are going to do some inventory on multiple number of servers on multiple number of hosts like suppose i need to find out httpd version tomcat version weblogic version or any other server version information so for this we can write your playbook instead of writing playbook on remote server right we can create our custom facts so that with less number of lines in your playbook instead of writing lengthy playbook to find out these three informations if you use custom facts you can reduce your number of lines in your playbook to get this information not only for this suppose assume that you are having multiple hosts and in some of them are a prod and some of them are non prod some of them like you know dev qa so i can create one custom fact on each and every server based on its environment so before going to execute my playbook i will check that fact that custom fact if it is dev just to do this action if it is prod just to do this action if it is qa just to do this action right to take some decision based on your required thing right you can create custom facts on remote node guys this is very very important in your real time about custom facts how to use custom facts how to create custom facts right so for time being here we are going to create a custom facts and we are going to fetch uh, those custom facts values from your playbook we will see that okay but here what i am doing is for our example simply i am taking i want to create a custom fact to get my git version on my remote node if it is there i will get it okay so how to create this custom fact right so guys you are having some simple steps to create your custom facts now we are going to see uh, how to create your custom facts so you need to remember these steps before going to work with your custom facts first thing you have to create under root etc ansible facts.d directory on remote nodes make sure that remote nodes doesn't have root etc ansible directory you have only root etc you don't have under that ansible because we are not installing any component on remote nodes while working with ansible that's why you need to create complete directory structure under root etc on your remote nodes ansible under ansible create facts.d right after that inside of facts.d place one or more custom facts files this facts files should be in uh, extension should be any name dot fact right then after that the output of this fact files custom facts file should be always in json format and then only your custom facts can be fetched by using your ansible then finally that file should have execution permission then only you can get your custom fact so four steps simple steps okay first thing under root etc you have to create ansible under ansible create facts.d on remote nodes suppose if you want to create some facts for local host i mean where your ansible controller is there there anyway you have ansible directory under root etc just to create facts.d right simply if you don't have ansible then go on remote nodes and open uh, navigate to root etc there create ansible then create facts.d then inside of facts.d any name dot fact just to create a file and in that file just write some code such that the output should be json and finally give the execution permission for file right see that now what i am going to do i am going to select my local host itself right so see let me check it whether i am having anyway i have ansible no so definitely i have this directory after that i don't have any facts.d directory see that i am i am having only these three informations from this ansible now what i am doing is i am going to create uh, facts.d under this root etc ansible right now under facts.d i am going to create suppose a file called uh, i will take suppose git dot fact guys extension should be fact only okay so i am taking git as my fact file custom fact file right 
so in that i am going to write some information so i am going to write some shell script this shell script will execute and give the output as json okay so what i am doing is so bin bash i am finding git version first through my shell script So I think you will get in dollar three your version value. Then I am echoing this. So while echoing, see, it should be right JSON. So I am giving here Git version as a key in JSON, and here. I'm giving value as your variable that is git version right let me save this and give the execution permission for this so I'm running from here to TTC and Sybil facts now let me run this once and we'll see the what is the output you are getting actually Oh, something mistake. Let me, yeah, maybe double quotation. I missed at the end. Right, fine. See, you are getting some JSON format output, right? Or dictionary in Python. Now I am going to use this custom fact. I am going to fetch with the help of Ansible. For that, I am going to write simply one playbook. Let me write get custom fact. right see I am going to write this playbook just to get custom facts so I'm giving comments to get custom facts so I'm writing playbook so I'm writing first to play in this I need anywhere only one play <coughs> name finding custom facts right so tasks simply I am taking uh, I want to display my custom fact value right see so I am writing the custom fact value is right so you are having your custom facts always in Ansible local so in that you have your git custom fact so you can use either uh, dictionary format like uh, square brackets then git here or json dot extension also you can take right so let me run this code against your local host so ansible playbook our inventory then get custom facts Oh, yeah, we missed the host information, right? See, it's gathering facts. Now, if you observe the custom fact value, what we are getting is Git version. So guys, this is the simple way to get custom facts from your remote nodes or maybe from local host using your Ansible, right? So for this thing, you have to follow these steps, okay? Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. Just do subscribe my channel so that you'll get updates whenever we post some new videos. If you have any queries, please uh, post on the below of this video. And if you like this, just give your thumbs up and also share with your friends. Thank you, bye.